We got we got we got Mount Everest to climb, KO. We got Mount King Everest. Cause I'm about to give you the most difficult assignment of all time. Mini map light switch. Every single instance of the round where you cannot shoot easily at an enemy, you should be looking at the mini map. Every single instance of the round where you are first contact and have your gun out ready to shoot, you need to be looking at your crosshair. You can only glance at minimap if you first meet the conditions required to look at it. Let me explain, because this is not League of Legends. In League of Legends, you've got to glance at that thing all the time. In League of Legends, StarCraft II, MOBAs and RTS games in general, you have to glance at your minimap all the time. Minimap information is essential. In tactical shooters with low time to kills, you cannot do that. You can die in the singular like 200 milliseconds that it takes for you to glance and then look back. Like it takes like 500 milliseconds round trip. You can die. So you can't do that. So let's say I'm you in this round and I'm most exposed to an angle. I can't look at my minimap. I'm staring at my crosshair. And let's say I do want to look at my minimap. Well, I better do this first. And now I can look. Okay. Now I can look at my minimap. And then I look back at my crosshair and I'm back out. Crosshair, 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 crosshair. Oh, they smoked me off and I'm pulling out my shorty mini map mini map does that make sense oh i'm standing here holding my flash and my teammate has my contact mini map i'm looking at my mini map here my teammates got me i'm right behind my teammate who's scaling out mini map because they can't shoot you they have to shoot your teammate first so this is mini map you're just looking at your mini map i'm just looking at my mini map right now does it look like i'm looking at my crosshair because i'm not I'm aiming with my mini map right now when you're behind your teammate, you're not first in line. Mini map because you're safe. When you're first in line, crosshair. When you're reloading, mini map. You're pulling out util, mini map. Want to get coached? It's free. Join the Discord, read the VOD submission rules, submit a VOD for my moderation team to approve, and then show up to any VOD review stream and enter the raffle. Check the events tab on my Discord to see when the next VOD review stream is. Enjoy the video. KO! Number one, Oglethorpe fan. Your bio says plat soon trust, but you already have the platinum icon. KO. KO definitely has notes. We were gold two and we hit plat. Gold three. Crying. We're basically hecking bronze, man. Let's try and figure out how to get out. Oh, you, you're doing well, though. You're doing well. Let's read the notes. Flashes are good for kills when enemies are in open space. Learn good flashes for defensive flash zones. Use ground wall flashes for random ones. Offense, more assiduous dedication to team lurk, team lurk, team lurk. Generally far more aggressive overheating. We get passive way too quickly. Good. Defense, less covering flanks, fakes. More fighting for the site with the most noise on it aggressively. Reminds me of somebody. Hey, let's push kitchen here. I'm done, I'm done. I'll send my TP to, uh, to, to A. Send it to A. Oh, send, send it to A, okay. Oh, not TP, sorry, I meant, uh, like, we need some kind of diversion on A. And we'll okay, okay, I'll go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll make we'll quiet up here too. Ooh, lurk team lurk lurk team lurk frenzy oh this oh, is pog this is pog yeah we got a wall here and then what we'll bam we're b under. oh you fool freeze frame now everything so far has been good but we need to be very careful okay oh because you have a frenzy and while i love this gun currently the two most likely fights we can find are really long range so i would probably if i were you route myself right here up against this wall of hut right there because these guys rotating somebody's almost surely gonna come snowman that's a great fight for our frenzy and if you walk out here the problem is like there could be these kitchen fights these orange fights these yellow fights these are still pretty long range okay so i hope you go hut just go to A. Yoru's on A right now. Oh, wanna... I don't think you were going to. And the way that your routing's no good. So right here, we need to continue hugging this wall behind us. And I'm going to... I'm going to boot up Icebox to show you because I can visualize the geometry in my head really well. But not everyone in chat can visualize the geometry. So we need the visual aid to understand all of the threats that you're exposing yourself to with the current routing you're taking, which is no good. It's no good. Okay. 
Hey, nice frenzy skin. So you walked forwards like this. I need you to see that that's increasing your exposure to hut and kitchen. But when you're back here, if you were to walk this way, notice you're you're so safe. You are so insanely safe. The post when you're walking forwards like this, you're exposing yourself to more threats. Do you see? So let's say you do want to go that way. Well, then you want to walk like way up around this corner here. So you're not exposed to those threats. Or of course you want to come over here. Now you, you see how your routing is like swooping around, exposing yourself to everything. Right and you're not around this corner right now. You're not. Oh, wanna... I can see on your mini map. And here you can see as you reload, you're not. So this whole time while you're shooting at Sage, you're just a total free kill to these dudes who realize it's a B hit and are rotating. Okay. This is really important. Really important. You have to minimize the number of angles you're exposed to. Okay. I gotta pick B. I gotta pick B. Let's go B. Yeah, I agree that you okay. should hit B. Sending a B. No, Spike carry. Yes, that goes guys. behind us, guys. Spike down. This is no good. I'm not sure if this has been cleared yet, but you sold an A fake, so I'm really expecting them A. And the way you peek out, your crosshair should at least be there, but that's also bad for the frenzy. I have screens. My wingman's down. Yeah, and at uh, what point could he be behind you? Standing. This is no good. So now you know um, your rear is under tube, but you know Omen is A, and you're willingly positioning yourself between them. That's no good. That's no good. You got time. You got time on the clock. We need to kill this Omen. Because you can get shot in the... He's under. You can get shot in the back. I couldn't even finish my sentence. Our spatial awareness is the problem. Okay. You didn't see him screens, so there's only one reasonable conclusion to be made, but you're afraid to make it. And I don't know why. You don't see him coming out screens, so he's almost certainly coming out this way, or just coming screens later. The I guess the one thing that could happen is this, but we really need to make sure that it's not these first. How do you know Omen is A? He killed our friend, and he, we called it. Look. Gecko's behind us, guys. Spike Gecko down behind mid. Us, bottom two, bottom two. Bam. Kill feed. You hear noise? I have screens. And we have screens. Yeah, and look, we're even looking for the guy. Oh man, is he in that corner behind you or what? He's underneath. No good, no good. Bad spatial awareness. The round is great. Like team, lurk team. But the we had the round. And I need you to understand that. Like at this point. Yoru's on A right now. Oh, wanna... Yo, come B. B's open. B's open. Let's go. And you like, you can route this way to pinch, get them safe travel. But you kind of just went with the flow and you went towards A, which is no good. You baited them A. You pulled them towards A at the start of the round. Pick B. I gotta pick B. Let's go B. Yep, now your team okay. starts going B, I mean, but then B. why are you still walking towards A? What are we doing? There's no way. <laughs> this guy is like. <laughs> There's no way this works. This guy's playing Aries on headshot. <laughs> no. Clean. I think this TP belongs. You just teamed. So I think it belongs more lurky. You know, I think if you throw it like this, does it get out? I think it does. Yeah. You can get that thing way out there. So you can switch. Now, keep in mind, you don't even have to take that, okay? Oh, that's top. 
One's pushed up. I would hold tab. I'm pretty sure your teammate Nest right now has a sheriff. I would give them his vandal and I would ult it with that stinger. Time to jump. Right, like the stinger with your ult is really good. I'm mid. Okay, is it good flash? I'm but mid. again, it's spatial awareness. Look where you are. You're dead. The Reina's there. She just flashed out. She just wasn't looking at you. Out of charges. There, there, there she is. You see? You just got lucky. You just got lucky. Anybody got signs on Omen? Those two kills um have come from and dude. Okay. So these two kills were spawned by playing Hope Valorant. And the most important thing that you need to know is you cannot feel good about getting kills like this. You have to find it inside of yourself to say, I'm dumb. When you get these two kills, you, your brain needs to release the negative chemical because if you develop this habit, it becomes really hard to fix. It's like, um, it's like you're a heckin' 10 year old learning chess and you're playing against other 10 year olds and you like, you play like this. Aha, I got your queen, you noob. But if the moment you face like an adult, they take your bishop and you lose every time. But the problem is every time you take that 10 year old's queen, you like positively reinforce yourself and pat yourself on the back where you're like, God, I'm so good. And then you your bishop escapes too. They don't even take it or whatever. You can't get good or really good at games if this is the way that you like learn them. So be very careful, very careful because this is unacceptable risk. If this were 2v4, this play is super lit. This play is super lit because now you're taking a risk that almost needs to be taken because the odds of winning the round are already really low. Okay. But this is 5v4 and we're, we're about to plan. Like we've got a lot of sight. We're not at a huge disadvantage here. Confused about why the kills were bad? Because the result, it's just as bad as winning the queen in this scenario. Is winning the queen here bad? No. Winning the queen is not what's bad. What's bad is the move bishop g5. This is what's bad. The move bishop g5 is what's bad. The move Yoru to front screens holding flash out is a blunder. Over now. I'm mid. This is a blunder. This is bad. And then we win their queen, which is good. But you can't you can't reward yourself for these two kills. Yeah, that play only rewarded you because you're in lower elo. This is good. Okay, team, Lurk TP, I like it. This is way too much time where they can just swing snowman and kill you. This is way too much time. So first of all, right here, they can just swing snowman and kind of shoot you. And it's geometry. It's geometry, Kale. Maybe you're thinking incorrectly. Oh, but she has snowman and he has snowman and she has snowman. But you know what they don't have? They don't have this part of snowman. Let me show you. Let me show you the geometry. You're way out here and you can see that. Let's be rays. Oh, I can't see that. I can't see that. Be this guy. Oh, I definitely can't see that. This guy definitely cannot see that. So the angle you're exposed to here is unique to you and you alone. Only you can see this deep. Is there a penguin? No penguin. No penguin. No penguin. Penguin. Okay. I'm really trying to show you visually because while this is intuitive for a lot of people, it's clearly not intuitive for you because right now you're not ready for snowman at all. Even here, like, I don't like this. 
I don't like this. You have numbers advantage and you're just leaving yourself completely open to the guy rotating off A here. Sit down. You got sight, man. Now you look at it. Moments underneath. Two on up. Oh my god, the whole squad's here. Oh, it's three, three on A, three on A. It's four, no? Yeah, it's four. You're, you're miscounting. Come out. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so first of all, you saw her maze, okay? Freeze! So I'm not even afraid of this thing you died to. After I kill here, I'm afraid of this, but I know that these are both threats. You know what I'm doing? Coming here. Immediately. Because now I'm safe. I'm safe. But when you're out here, you kill that dude. Danger, danger. Danger, 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 danger. Nobody's hitting this. Nobody's hitting this. Come over here. And now at least this danger from Maze has to come all the way over here before they can kill you. You've got some time. You got some time. Any angle. Okay. Oh, interesting. Did you know it's walled? Because if you don't, don't you just die for free? Cutting through. Yeah, you just died. But what? We don't know it's walled. No? Yeah, you're surprised by the wall. You just died. That's fine. It's two there. Where's Gecko? One kitchen, one A. Yep, let's take B. One kitchen, one A. Yep, let's see. You were looking window? We were doing do, do, a danger! Danger! Why? What? what look, look at it! What, what is this? Danger! You will not. Oh my god, they're resting kitchen. Where was that? Two small yeah, 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 yeah. It's no mess. I see a theme, KO. I see a theme. You don't even know what you're exposed to. You don't even know mistakes. what you're exposed to. This is the guy who plays deathmatch and says, I always get shot in the back. I got you crazy. Crazy crack. Yeah. What's the logic on deathmatch and getting shot in the back doesn't happen to everyone? Oh, I'm about to drop a video on this. So I was doubtful that this is a real thing if you're actually trying and being spatially aware. And so on stream the other day, I played a full deathmatch, full noise on fracture, and I got shot in the back once, making full noise, running around, just taking fights. And so I'm going to upload a video that's an hour long of just me playing deathmatch and barely getting shot in the back at all. It's a spatial awareness thing. It's an awareness thing, not a deathmatch problem. You just blame deathmatch because it exacerbates the problem. If you have spatial awareness issues, you get shot in the back more in deathmatch. Thought agreed it was twice. No, I'm not counting that second one. That guy wasn't on my screen, but it was not my back. And I knew they were there. Nice plan. Deathmatch spawns though, come on. They're not bad. You actually cope. There's one bad deathmatch spawn. There's one terrible deathmatch spawn and it's right here on Ascent. This spawn is poop and I will not be counting it in my video because in this spawn, of course, you walk this way and then they spawn behind you and shoot you. That one sucks. That one sucks. No other spawn sucks. Not a singular other spawn is bad. The rest are all fine. That's the only bad one. Wine is fine. Wine is like really fine. Let me guess. You route this way and die to wine. <laughs> when you spawn wine, you gotta route this way. And then as you route tree, you unexpose heaven. You're pathing. Then you can come out into cat and you're chilling. 
You got to make sure you unexpose this properly as you're out true. You'll die to heaven from the side. But you can do this every time without dying to heaven. Because when you spawn wine, you can check your mini map to see if they're playing in this corner and you'll know that they're not or they are. I'm telling you, dude, it's spatial awareness. I'm going to demonstrate this in a YouTube video. Yeah, I literally already demonstrated it, but I'm sure people were like, oh, that's only one death match, Legion. So I'm going to play multiple. Careful under. Okay. Nice. Okay, real fast. A team lurk round? Oh my god, they're right there! Oh my god! You just knew it was the clone, you're a genius. I'll handle this. One on two on uh, B. I think one stomach. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Where are you going? Are am I the only one who looked at the minimap when our cipher alt tagged all of them? And there's Yoru, Reyna, Sage, and Omen. I'll handle this. One on and two Omen on dies B. kitchen. And so now they are here, here, and either there or there. No? Am I crazy? Well, what do you mean? Why are you clearing sight? I think one stomach. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come to me. Three man's gonna plant spike. Oh, oh, I'm back. One enemy remaining. I mean, this guy was in this region, but it is Yoru. Time to jump. Scared the fuck out of me, Viber. You can jump to lane instead of going stairs on a scent. You'll never die. I'll try that. Either way, that spawn sucks. You just TP day. Go quiet today. Horny bastard. That's all day, all Flash. Oh shit, in our spawn? <laughs> nice. Okay, just TP'd into your spawn. Satchel out. Redeem, redeem. Look at that. You know why I skipped over that fight chat? Is every other fight's been fine. Time to jump. This guy's problem is not Take fights. Do me one error. As a gold player. Across like a million fights he's taken this game. Our problem are the number of fights that we're not even looking at him in. That's our problem. Or we can't shoot back. I get those kills. Hey, that's lit. Chilling. Reloading. What was that? What was that? You did it again. Oh my god, you're different. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm crying. I'm crying on your behalf. This bug doesn't work anymore, but it's just out of heaven. Here goes the other one. Bro, kill that guy. What are you. You came out too far from him. This bug doesn't work anymore, but it's just out of heaven. Here goes. He's dead. Let's go. I'm in. What are we doing? Yeah. And now we're too far from him. Why did we let this space develop? Nah. Da no. <laughs> Yeah, this is really um Okay. This is really high level. I can't blame you for this one, but I want to let you know that I wouldn't have died to this go room. And it's because right here while you're teleporting, I'm looking at my mini map 
And so I see that they're there. And so I don't go for this Vandal. When I kill this Omen, I'm already knife out, bunny hopping back. Now I really need you to know that this is the biggest difference. Your awareness is actually really problematic. I'm not expecting you to get to this level. But when I kill that guy, I'm actually hopping this way. Because I already yeah. know about that Yoru and I know I can't get that gun. Yeah. And I'm just playing here. And now my raise might kill that Yoru and then oh, I might be able to get the oh, gun. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, this flash is sick. Right here. Sorry. My goodness. Once again, the ghost user finds themselves wishing they had a frenzy. Reloading. Not kidding, you actually played around really well with the ghost. Like that belt fight was lit. Don't let it get flint down. More lateral movement, please, but generally down. your fights are good. Sheesh. Sounds like mid. Yeah, mid push. Yeah. All right, Codex on delay. I'm going to pause right now. I'm curious watching back if you can try and place all four enemies on the mini map for me right now. And we don't have full info. I need to be clear. You haven't seen them all. You say 2 mid, 2B. Interesting. So for all intents and purposes, I would have to assume that there's nothing B this round. Because they're walking under tube and Omen's on tube, I would be ridiculously sus of kitchen. And sus to a degree where I need to clear that very assiduously. So that's not enough for me. I, I don't think that's assiduous enough. Now, we never find out if there's one tube, but I disagree with how you cleared this. I don't know flashes, by the way. Then I come over here. And now, notice how I route. Watch. So when I want to peek here, I'm not going to peek like this because I'm exposing additional tube threats. So I'm going to hold tube. I'm going to come over here and I can peek out. Then I can come back this way. And I can't walk across. I can't walk across until we've got control yeah. of this. I'm just here. I'm controlling kitchen. I can keep fighting here, but I have to control kitchen like this. I can't do more. I can't do more. If I come across, I'm risking two threats at once and I'm in trouble. In trouble. So look. You're exposing yourself to tube. The way you took this fight, even if you killed Gecko, in the event that they had a tube player, which both of us agreed was likely, you were a afraid of kitchen and there's this wouldn't that be angle disadvantage bra 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 yes you can't just have every advantage every fight no matter what you can't be like okay time to have my angle advantage peekers advantage off angles advantage and i'm gonna be exposed to only one threat you the game doesn't give you that choice sometimes you gotta be like you know what that threat's too dangerous i'll accept this close angle disadvantage for this engagement and I'm coming back over here. That's the trade-off that I would make every day of the week. Yeah. Yeah, there's angle disadvantage. There's still angle disadvantage here, to be clear. This is also like yeah. eight meters. Yeah. 18 meters. It's not like you're negating this angle disadvantage by peeking it from back here. Like you're still experiencing it a little less, but now you're adding this additional threat. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You can't scale this way. Um, with no info, when you scale this way, half the time you're gonna get peeked from pipes, half the time you're gonna get peeked from maze, and you just you're crying in the club. You're you TP here on B. You're better. Oh. Not your Discord. Not your Discord. I do yours. Get TP here. Where was that teleport at? No maze. No maze. Okay. Nice. My ult's ready. Stuff, Not your Discord. 30 seconds left. There's no world you play Valorant like this. 
Go on, do not disturb. She'll just stay there. She won't push you. Yeah, she's way over there. Yeah, but even like this. Why? Hello, hello. We're just increasing. Without, we don't have the knowledge yet, do we? Ten seconds left. Not your Discord. Doesn't have time. That one could be your Discord. Okay, okay, okay. I've got you. This is good. You get your gift card. This was all hecking great. This is so great. You did everything. I'm not going to lie. You did everything. S plus. S plus. S plus to KO. Which is why we've reached our platinum rank up. Congratulations. We got we got, got Mount Everest to climb, KO. We got Mount Everest. Because I'm about to give you the most difficult assignment of all time. Minimap light switch. Every single instance of the round where you cannot shoot easily at an enemy, you should be looking at the minimap. Every single instance of the round where you are first contact, and have your gun out ready to shoot, you need to be looking at your crosshair. You can only glance at minimap if you first meet the conditions required to look at it. Let me explain, because this is not League of Legends. In League of Legends, you've got to glance at that thing all the time. In League of Legends, StarCraft II, MOBAs and RTS games in general, you have to glance at your minimap all the time. Minimap information is essential. In tactical shooters with low time to kills, you cannot do that. You can die in the singular like 200 milliseconds that it takes for you to glance and then look back. Like it takes like 500 milliseconds round trip. You can die. So you can't do that. So let's say I'm you in this round and I'm most exposed to an angle. I can't look at my minimap. I'm staring at my crosshair. And let's say I do want to look at my minimap. Well, I better do this first. And now I can look. Okay. Now I can look at my minimap. And then I look back at my crosshair and I'm back out. Crosshair, 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 crosshair. Oh, they smoked me off and I'm pulling out my shorty mini map. Mini map. Does that make sense? Oh, I'm standing here holding my flash and my teammate has my contact mini map. I'm looking at my mini map here. My teammates got me. I'm right behind my teammate who's scaling out mini map because they can't shoot you. They have to shoot your teammate first. So this is mini map. You're just looking at your mini map. I'm just looking at my mini map right now. Does it look like I'm looking at my crosshair? Because I'm not. I'm aiming with my mini map right now. When you're behind your teammate, you're not first in line. Mini map, because you're safe. When you're first in line, crosshair. When you're reloading, mini map. You're pulling out util, mini map. Okay. And then the additional thing is you have to throw utility if you pull it out and immediately. You have too much of a bad habit of thinking about flashing and changing your mind and then thinking about flashing and changing your mind. If you pull out flash, you flash. No delay. Do it. And if it sucks, maybe you shouldn't have pulled it out. Learn learn how to use your util properly. We don't we can't have this doubt. This doubt where you like hold your flash, you're coming around. Of course, when you're in your ultra pulling out because of habit. But I can't have you just walking around like this. The exception, and I will outline this in your notes, is like a trap play, like this. This is fine. This is fine. Having your flash out and waiting here, totally fine, okay? Exception, trap setups, holding flash so we can flash out faster. Totally valid. I'm gonna be heckin' very analytical about this minimap thing. If something was on your minimap and you should have seen it, I will expect you to have seen it and react to it appropriately. Okay. Okay. I will not be easy on you. So do you remember that snowman round where you killed with shorty? You, I will expect that you know the Yoru is hot there. And then therefore going for the gun is an inarguable mistake. Okay. So let's play the game. What are you looking at right now? Or what should you be looking at right now? Or I'm just making sure you understand the notes. Minimap. Correct. Perfect. And there they are. And you can't fire your weapon right now. Your shorty's not out. And there they are. So we're looking at our minimap. We see them. We see them. We know that the Yoru is hot. CTP. Crosshair, crosshair. But we know. Doesn't matter that you're looking at crosshair right now because you know. You know they're right there. And we're looking at right now though. Right now. Minimap. Because you're reloading. You can't fire your weapon right now. So we're staring bullets at our minimap. You should be able to move around the whole map. I'll just looking at the minimap. It should not be a hindrance. Minimap awareness is like incredibly important and you need to develop it ASAP.